Hi, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video, GC Rocky. I have another build video for you today. We're going to do this one a little bit different though. What I'm going to do today is we're going to take you through the gameplay first and then show you the build. I'll be talking you through this build as we go through the gameplay. And if you were watching the streams last week, we, um, we're working on like a one-shot pistol build. We started off with the one-shot sniper build, which is absolutely insane. So much fun with that in um, the new season with the modifiers. But Pony jumped in stream and said, you want to try to harvest pistol out on that build. And since then, I've been trying to get like a John Wick build together. We're going to be calling this build the John Wick build in the title and stuff. But basically, pistol, we're going to try and one-shot enemies. And it's not as good as the sniper build, okay? This is just for fun. Um, you you want to use the one shot sniper build it's insane it'll, it'll, it'll run through most content but this pistol build is fun and if you practice on the missions um you go so grand washington hotel is one i've been practicing on heroic this was my problem get it to work well on heroic just need some practice you need to know the spawns you need to know the target prioritization because of helmets and stuff like that but we're gonna go through right we'll show you how the build down. works as okay, we go we got chain killer. We're looking to chain kill some headshots. And as you can see, the helmets are an issue. As you know, with any of the one shot builds, um, I can't hit a head right now. Um, <laughs> but you've got to get those headshots. And if there's a helmet, they just crack the helmet, which means you lose your stack. So you got to get the headshot again. Quite annoying with hyenas, but I have practiced on this mission. So. I think most factions have something with a helmet, to be honest with you. Hostile radio intercepted. I'm heading upstairs to the hostage. Everybody, get to the atrium. Shit, Saints here. Now? We're gonna try and get reversal procced as well. Might try that in this room now. Reversal is one of the active modifiers that I have. Oh, missed my shots. Oh boy! How'd I miss all those shots on him then? Helps if you can hit the bodies. So I'll quickly clear that room now. That was with the help of reversal. So when you can proc reversal, you're going to bring... I'll, I'll show, again, I'm going to be showing you the build with all the mods. But you've got to be bringing Tapper into play at close range. Very, very helpful. I think we've got max stacks on the weapon damage with Memento right now as well. He's going to take our stacks away with his helmet. There we go. I'm playing a lot with this build on controller as well. On my laptop, so on keyboard and mouse today. Forgive the aim is what I'm saying. Something else you need to think about with a uh, sidearm. I knew I weren't going to go because I still like coating. Uh, something else you need to think about with a sidearm is the... Um, it has... We're, we're, we need to get back to some cover. <laughs> Okay, you need to think about, what was I saying? Optimal range. So, there's big, heavy drop-off on damage. That Stellite coating then really messed us up. But we're good. Let's get this headshot kill. And then we should be good for a few now. Chain some bodies together. Do we have any? Oh, another elite. We want a red. Let's get some reds, purples. Target prioritization there, and then we should get that yellow just like that. So one more left. Oh, yeah, hello. There we go. Sometimes on Heroic as well, there's a chunger in that room. You can be a bit just annoying. An Don't need ammo. Why well, am I trying to restock? We're using a pistol. I think we still should be good here. For, for, let's try it. Yes. Ah, oh, no, he took it. We've lost our... There we go. Stellite like coating. Oh, we did it. That's what you get, you dumb sons of we hit that medic over there with the pistol. The accuracy on this thing is terrible. That lot of 
You know what? Get him on fire. Pistols at range? Not great. That, that bit there? Forget about that bit. I do have a sniper on the build, so for things like that, where the optimal range and the range stay working for the sidearm, you can... Ooh, rogues. I don't think I've still got my proc, so... Hmm. I don't know. Do we? I think we've definitely lost them by now. It's taking ages to get up here. We did get a headshot kill on the last one, so we might have... The next shot being ahead, but I don't think we're gonna have any of the chain killer. We might die here. If we do, we do. We're gonna go. We're going deep. Yeah. So. What we will do is proc this. That's reversal proc on him then. Gone. But nice if we could just one shot at both of these with the sniper build Hostile the other day. The detected. one shot sniper, we just murdered them. One Rogue shot each. Can't quite do that with this build. Like I said, this build's not as good as the one shot sniper. We're just trying to have a little bit of fun with a pistol. And you have to, it has its moments. It has its moments of pure awesomeness. Um, it's fun. Uh, if you drop, like, if you're happy, if you, I, I'm showing you this gameplay on Heroic, it's, on again, as I said at the start, it was quite hard to make it fun on Heroic. It takes a bit of practice on the missions. Um, definitely, like, target prioritization and stuff to get the, the chained one-shots going. And if any enemies have um, the Stellite Coating or Helmets, they're just going to like really slow you down. You're going to start getting those stacks back up again all the time. And Heroic, it's hard to harder to manage that. If you're happy dropping the difficulty to challenging, this build becomes so much better. And if you're a player that plays on hard, then this just works like the Sniper build. Because we were going through, me and Pony were going through the Summit 20 floors for his journey and we just threw it on hard. And we both run in like a one shot pistol build, just hitting everything with one shot. It, it was so much fun. Um, real, real, a lot of fun. Like this area can be tricky. We do have. It can be tricky. See how we do. I forgot how I do this, is what I'm saying. Helmets right away. Let's just get rid of them if we can. With them. There we go. Try and get this spawn. It's a helmet, that's fine, I'll get him gun. Kelso. I think the boss is out now. We can push him. We've covered most of the enemies. So we're gonna... Serious trauma detected. So you can. If you, if you get that right, you can get enough of the headhunter going. To basically get the boss's helmet gone. We didn't do that, unfortunately. What I'm gonna do is get reversal procs. And finish him off, though. There we go. He could be done better. I messed up there somewhere. I lost my stacks before I shot him. I thought I had enough. That's that area done. It's a fun build. I really like it. Works on Heroic with a nice little challenge. I've tried a few missions. I did Wall Street in New York on Heroic. That was real good. 
real good actually the three bosses at the end again if you can get the head on to stacks ready you can get rid of two of those bosses very very quickly before james dragov i keep on running into these out of habit and let's go and finish it where this build fails on this last bit of the mission is the door the door has no head but then um, we got a few enemies to kill beforehand though which we can use it on <laughs> I missed every head then. Uh, honestly, I suck at mouse. People are like, your mouse and keyboard is easy to hit heads. I'm so much easier on controller. I'm using controller so much right now. I guess so out of sync with mouse. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this door. Quickest way to do that's gonna be this. A reason for this, if we go up there and use that, we got tapper on. And we're at range. So we do next to no damage to this door. So we're just going to stand here with the Elmos and just... Water drag, right? Like... I could tap reversal now and we'll be doing nothing. This class is a body shot. So what we're going to do is destroy the door, tap reversal, and hopefully finish off this mission well. There we go. Cost is a helmet. There we go. And there we go. We're going to show you the belt. It's the gameplay. And the belt looks like this. She's okay. We're starting with the survivalist specialization. I don't know whether this is the best specialization to use. I think it's got some weapon handling on there, which helps the build. And it, just remember to throw on sidearm pistol damage, because I forgot that when I initially started testing this build. And um, yeah, that needs to go on. So whatever specialization you use, throw on the sidearm. Uh, primary and secondary don't really matter so much. I've got a um, M700 here with Determined in case I needed to go long range for a bit. As you've seen during that though, we stuck with the sidearm all the way through. Switch to the Elmos at the end there because we needed to with the door. But whatever you want. The sidearm I'm using, the best sidearm in the game for this. There's a lot of debate in stream last week. It's the Harvest. Now the closest thing to this is going to be, I believe, the Magnum. Uh, Disserus maybe, uh, D50 used to be good as well, like we've got, I think I've got a few, my, a Profit is good also, but the problem with the Profit is you can't put, uh, Determined on, Perfect Determined works as intended, which means it won't work well with this build, you, you want the, you want Determined, as you can see here with my Harvest, I've got Determined on it, basically after I get a kill with a headshot, I can just hit body shots, pretty much. Um, we've got damage to armor. I'd rather have damage to target out of cover there, but you know, it is what it is. It's the second best harvest I can have right now. So that's what you want to use. If, if I scroll over the distress, you can see that total damage is quite high. 556 with 774 on the harvest. It's insane. Um, snub node distress there, 591 damage. That's got detox on it. Uh, D50, you can see the survivors, D50, there's 530. So D50 might work, like, if you don't have a harvest, because I know that the harvest is part of their, like, special event, and it'll be around this holiday season again for you to farm for. And if you haven't got it, you're going to have to use a different sidearm, but this is the sidearm you want, in all honesty. Those are some other recommendations if you don't have it. And then the build looks like this, I threw it together... We went the Punch Drunk Mask because we're trying to stack as much headshot damage in as possible. Uh, also, Douglas and Harding comes with the pistol damage. So there's 20% headshot damage on the Punch Drunk. We've got weapon handling in on that as well with a headshot damage mod at 10%. Memento Backpack because I'm going solo. I don't think this build's going to be great in groups, if I'm being honest with you. If you're going to be playing in groups, you're going to have to drop the difficulty. If you go heroic content, I think you're going to struggle. Challenging maybe in a two. But obviously with the scaling is what I'm trying to get at here. The more you play with, the more the enemies are scaled. Uh, I, if you are going to try it though in a group, maybe drop the memento and go something else with vigilance, maybe. 
I don't know, but solo, Memento is great. You're picking up those trophies, you're increasing your weapon damage, you're giving yourself some survivability. It's brilliant. You get a armor car and a skill top car for your shield so all of a sudden your shields become skill tier two i want to say there's weapon damage headshot damage on there i guess you could run technician to improve that skill tier again you've seen how much i was using that shield then uh technician mightn't be a bad shout there to put it up to skill tier three because we use this bulwark shield the skill tier two right now three wouldn't be a bad shout and the rest of the build we got obviously the chain killer chest piece this is walker and harris for weapon damage headshot damage handling headshot damage mod there you know how perfect headhunter works you just keep on getting higher hits the more heads you're hitting works great for the build when you get it going then the holster this can be a little bit of a hard grind i did this on my first attempt though uh habsburg countdown i went in i needed headshot damage and i want weapon handling on it i would have just took the headshot damage like weapon handling it is the next attribute you want but if you get headshot damage and weapon damage perfect throw it on and you you want this because of the headshot damage on the habsburg guard one piece so you're using that the providence knee pads here you can see the advice i just gave you if you get headshot damage go for it i would want weapon handling instead of the health there but we, we've got to go with what we're given. And I got this in one run. I got headshot damage, weapon damage. And again, you're going for the headshot damage on the Providence one piece there. And then finally, we go improvised gloves. So with these, we're going improvised because there's no other brand sets that's really going to help me right now. So I'm going weapon damage, handling, headshot damage there. And a headshot damage mod. That's why we're going improvised. It's letting me put some more mods on the build which i can use as headshot damage really stacking into the headshot damage and then if we switch i think i've got to switch my weapon around if we go to stats yeah we'll do it here so the headshot damage on the m700 carbon that's 317 but that's not what we're using so let's switch it to the sidearm and the headshot damage is 256 percent you're not really bothered about crits here but that's where we got the headshot damage up to and finally because we are now in a season with modifiers we are using some modifiers as well uh, i spoke about it as we're going reversal there's two you could use here now it depends on how you want to do it i i love all out and all out for me would be better but it's a little bit annoying with the sidearm to get this proc because all out you're gonna have to get a long range kill first and then you um within 10 seconds of proccing all out and then every one of the ranges is long range which would be great it, it, i like all out it, it works brilliantly um but it, it's just i found it a little bit annoying with the sidearm as we spoke about the optimal range and sidearms being bad at distance it, it, it just made sense to go with reversal so reversal swaps the damage bonuses from short and long which is great and you can proc this and you just got to get close range so basically when you when you proc this your close range is going to be long range and you can extend that with headshots so it does work very well reversal for this build 100 percent because of the sidearm and the passive modifiers we're looking at is drawback which is a short range modifier but when you get close your weapon handling is going to be increased by 50 percent of your headshot damage i think the weapon handling is is a good thing to have on this build with the sidearm definitely when you get close range it pings so i put in weapon handling on the rolls as well uh tapper is a long range modifier so your headshot damage is increased by 150 percent but body shots still greatly reduce damage at long range this is what we're speaking about at the end with the door there because it classes as a body you want to proc this with reversal get close and just hit them and when you've got the headshot chain killer going and you're hitting them in the bodies you're getting an extra headshot to get the kill so that's what you're trying to do there with that and and finally persistence that's like this if you get some short range kills you increase your movement speed which i love uh, long range kill reload speed medium range accuracy uh, there's no other modifier really that advise for how i was running this build you could say like by the teeth but then because of chain killer and the headshots you're cancelling it out we're not really playing in cover so call the weak really doesn't work for this build uh, retribution we're not really going for crits like it, i guess there is a shout for this but maybe um quicken if you go down again maybe a shabby angle crits on the build so it makes no sense really pressure piston nah not really uh liability maybe because we are trying to get short range but in my test this isn't damage to armor this is only like damage to like armor plates on tanks and things like that so it's not as good as it sounds and impatient nah i'd, I'd be reloading all the time so drawback tapper persistence and as i said reversal are what i recommend 
for this build. You've seen the gameplay. Let me know what you think in the comments. And let try and involve this build with me, maybe. We're aiming for like a John Wick pistol build here. Where we're killing things very, very fast. Heroic is where we're aiming for it to be fun. Um, but just to conclude, challenging content, hard content is probably where this build is most fun. Thank you for watching today. Comment down below if any tips, any improvements you'd do, any sort of build ideas you've got or want me to test. Hit like on the video, subscribe if you're new. Until next time, take care and peace out.